If you drill enough wells, you're going to stick the pipe. It's just about as certain as death and taxes. First, remove the T that you have placed to divert the cuttings to the side. Next, we've got to come up with an effective way to grip the pipe. Here's what I use. It's a series of 2-inch rubber sleeves that just fit over the 2-inch pipe. They are designed for temporarily connecting 2-inch pipes. They are perfect for giving our clamps something to grip. Then I use a bunch of pipe clamps to attach a piece of oak to each side of the pipe. The bottom of the pieces of oak become excellent points to use in prying the stuck pipe up and out of the ground. By prying with two 2x4s, that is one on each side of the pipe, you can put more even upward pressure on the pipe and lessen the chance of breaking the pipe. For the fulcrum of the lever, I use a table. Its height is kind of adjustable and that I can set the table on its side when I need to raise the fulcrum. After raising the fulcrum as far as I can, I reset the lever by loosening the pipes and moving the rubber sleeves, clamps, and oak pieces back down the pipe. I tighten the clamps back up and I'm ready for some more prying. It is slow, but very effective and cheap. In between the prying sessions shown here, I loosen each of the clamps and then move the clamps, the rubber sleeves, and the oak sticks down the pipe to get ready for the next prying session. After I made some initial progress with the 7 clamp rig, I was able to revert to just using the regular handle with the addition of some rubber sleeves under the clamps. After looking at the first part of this video, I was so embarrassed about the ragged bushes in the background of trembling. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see if it's loose enough to move by hand. Not yet. Maybe now I can move it by hand. Almost. Okay, let's try it again.
And that is how it's done. For more information on dealing with stuck pipes and how you can drill your own well, go to www.drillyourownwell.com. Thanks for watching.